Remember, there's some pretty important information here in the disclaimer. You might want to give the video a quick pause and read it. Hello my friends, this is Wake Angel 2001 coming at you with the last part of Giovanni's Commission. It is Nazo. Uh, specifically, this is Nazo from The Wrath of Nazo. Not sure what that is, I think. Is that like a fan-made sequel to the, um, to, to the, to Chakra X's, um, Nazo animation whose name I can't even really remember? Like, wait, did, was there a special name for the Nazo thing? Huh. Wow, it's... I, 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 used, I watched that animation so many times, but I actually don't remember the proper title of it. I remember it was made by Chakra X. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so... The base figure for this Nazo was a Nazo custom. Uh, yeah, so basically Giovanni sent me... Um, a custom that he had made of the of the this version of Nazo, which apparently had become damaged. Uh, it looked like the back spines had been cut off and then like not replaced with the nozzle spines, or maybe the nozzle spines had fallen off, and um, the neck peg had torn off inside the head. Problematic. Um, so I had a spare upper torso from a Sonic figure. Yes, that is something that I still have lying around in my fodder bin. And I decided to use that to replace the damaged torso that this figure has. And um, I was able to dig out the broken piece of the neck peg that was inside of the head. So I would still be using the same head. Hooray. Um, well, this is where things get kind of awkward because this was a relatively simple job. And I forgot to take pictures of the... Uh, of the sculpt on the two back spines before, you know, I painted everything. So, whoops. Basically, I uh, cut the back spines off of the new torso that I gave him, sculpted on Nazo's new spines, and then gave the whole thing a refreshing paint job. Uh, you know, like a more vibrant sky blue for his fur color, um, the more vibrant ochre yellow for his ring his wrist rings and his chest triangle, uh, refresh of the shoes. I uh, even had to repaint his white parts because they were stained. So like his sock cuffs, his eyes, his gloves, all those things are uh, freshly repainted. And well, there's nothing left except to reassemble the figure. Yeah, I mean, this was like a super simple one, at least for one of my skill. But yes, that is essentially just um, what this was. It it wasn't so much a custom as it was a custom repair. Like, he sent me a broken custom and I fixed it. Then again, I had to fix his Metal Sonic figure before I could make it into Metal Sonic 3.0. I mean, it did have a broken leg and I had to replace a peg for it, so... I guess that was the theme of my commission for Giovanni. He sent me some broken figures and I gave them a new lease on life. Alright, so thanks to everyone for watching this video, and um, I'm gonna let Sonic take us out like he always does. Oh, hey everybody, it's me, Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog, just here to remind you that if you haven't already, make sure to hit that like button. And for even more amazing customs, don't forget to subscribe to Wake Angel 2001, because between you and me, they're way past cool.